Honorable Member for Calgary Bull, followed by the Honorable Member for Calgary Buffalo. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, I have heard from con constituents in the community of Bowness increasing concerns about infants at risk of harm. So I was pleased to attend an announcement on Friday by the Ministry of Children and Youth Services that a million dollars was being allocated to establish an Alberta Vulnerable Infant Response Team in Calgary. So my question is to the Ministry of Children and Youth Services, what has changed with at-risk infants to cause you to establish this rapid response? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, six months ago I was very concerned when I saw increasing uh, reports of infants aged zero to three months in Calgary who were at risk of harm due to abuse or neglect. And, uh, Mr. Speaker, that's between 45 and 55 infants per month. 60% of the concerns were raised by health professionals, 15% were raised by the Calgary Police Service. And the Minister of Health, Mr. Speaker, the Solicitor General and I developed a partnership with our, our Child Family Service Authorities, with Public Health, with the Calgary Police Service to address this serious the situation. Member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's heartbreaking to hear of infants coming to harm through abuse and neglect, but also heartbreaking to hear of babies being separated from their parents during those critical early parent-child bonding days. So to the same minister, can the minister please explain how this one initiative will help protect those vulnerable infants without the need to take them into provincial care? The Honourable Member, Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, we know that many parents are not prepared for having babies, and for some it can be very overwhelming, especially families that have complex issues like addictions, mental health issues, or family violence. And so that's why we'll have four CFSA caseworkers four public health nurses, uh, one Calgary police officer, all working together as a critical response team. They will assess at-risk infants and their families. They'll develop safety plans. They'll connect those families with intensive supports in the community. And I hope that that will help to ensure that their babies are safe. The Honourable Member. For. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. To the same minister, why is the Alberta Vulnerable Infant Response Team only benefiting children in Calgary? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I anticipated that, that that question would arise, and I know this member has discussed that with me, and we know it is vital, as I said earlier, for new at-risk parents to get the assistance they need with their babies early on, Mr. Speaker. This is the first time in, in Canada, actually, that we're going to have an integrated approach where we provide immediate resources and supports for infants aged zero to three months with the four caseworkers, with the four public health nurses, with a, with a police officer working closely together. We'll take, and our plan is to take that information from that model and to ensure it's developed in Edmonton by August.